wanted to do a quick video today to show you how to set up your own custom tracking domains on Purefly. Um, I am about to start a new campaign, so I actually needed to do this uh, to get a custom domain for this particular campaign. You don't have to set up a custom domain for like every campaign you're going to run. You can just get like a general domain, set it up on your account, and use that for whatever offers you want. However, I'm going to be promoting this particular offer on Facebook, and I think with Facebook it would make sense to have my own custom domain that is kind of relevant to the offer. I think it will convert a little bit better. Plus, I'm planning on doing uh, some like meta refresh and some technical things, uh, which I'll need my, my own domain and uh, my own hosting to do. Um, so anyway, I, I just wanted to do a quick video, though, to show you how to set up a custom domain, because it is important that you have one on your account. You don't want to use the default tracking domains that Purefly provides because there are thousands of other people using those domains to promote the offers. And those domains tend to get flagged by the popular traffic sources like Bing, um, Facebook obviously, even like Twitter, or wh wherever your plans promote, promote the offer. There's a good chance that your domain is will be flagged if you're just using the default one. So there are other benefits to, to having your own domain as well. Um, you can do uh, other things on Purefly with that domain. Um, so anyway, let's first go ahead and take a look at how to set up the records on the domain. I actually already registered this domain um, and, I, and I switched over the A records, but I figured it'd be pretty easy to show you how that's done. So on the tracking domains page, we actually have instructions on how to add a new domain to your account on Purefly. We give you the IP addresses that you have to set the A records to and essentially just a, a little bit of tidbit information about what to put in these boxes. It's, it's very simple. Uh, typically when people do it, if they email us asking questions, it's that the domain hasn't been verified yet. So it doesn't show up on your account uh, on the offers to use until the domain is actually verified that can take up to about 24 hours. So you just kind of have to be patient with that and come back and check again. Uh, so, but, but anyway, uh, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Uh, if you register the domain, it doesn't really matter where you register at. Uh, I like to use name.com, but you can use GoDaddy or Namecheap. It, it doesn't really matter. The important thing is that you find where you can change the DNS records. You do not want to change the name servers. So this is something a lot of people will get wrong. Um, you don't want to change the name servers because then it doesn't matter if you change the DNS records with your uh, with your registrar, uh, it won't it won't be recognized. The name servers have to point to whoever your domain registrar is, unless you're going to forward it to like a, a C panel and then set up the A records in your C panel and blah blah blah. Unless if you if you are going to do that, you should already know how to do that. If not, if you're just uh, trying to set up this domain specifically to use it as a tracking domain on Purefly, then you don't need to do any of that. All you have to do, make sure the name servers are whatever the default ones were when you registered the domain, and then set up the A records in your DNS records. So the A records essentially just make it so that your domain points to Purefly. So we have three different IPs that we want to set up. All you have to do is set the host as the at sign, which will is it basically defaults it to the primary domain. And then the answer is the IP addresses. So you would just put this in, add record, same thing with this one. At sign, making sure that we have A is the type of record we're doing. New the second IP, add record, third one. Once you're done, you will have essentially what I have here with these uh, three A records set up on my uh, domain. Like I said, it can take up to 24 hours for the domain once you add it to your Purefly account. So obviously I would sit, I would either copy and paste or type in, type in my domain name, save domain, and then it's added to your account. Within about 24 hours, it should be active. I'm actually going to try it right now. I added this not too long ago, so it may not be active yet, but we'll give it a shot. Approved. 
boom. Uh, sometimes, like I said, you, you have to wait uh, for a little while to be able to get your domain approved at one, once it switches over. Um, but within 24 hours, when you click that, it should say approved. If not, you probably did something wrong and you can just contact your affiliate manager and ask uh, him or her how to how to fix that. So now if I go back to that offer page and refresh it, I should have the option, yep, to uh, use my custom tracking domain. So this is the default one we had before. Now I can add this one and uh, this, this will go to the uh, affiliate offer. So it's really simple, it's really important though. I, I definitely recommend that you have a custom tracking domain on your account. Um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to let us know. Like I said, we also have a blog post about how to set up your custom tracking domain. Uh, we, can, we can help you with that, but uh, this, this post shows you how to do it on GoDaddy and Name.com. So feel free to reach out. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments section below. And uh, let's make some money.